and welcome back, Professor Almeida, jpalmeida.com. For COSA 50, these are your weekly announcements for the week of October 29th, 2017. So we are in week six. We're actually halfway done through the course and we will begin our second part in a two part or two week series on Microsoft Access. Now, last week you were introduced to Access and as some of you have found out the hard way, Access is different than what you're used to. When it comes to the concept of saving, when it comes to the concept of undoing or not being able to undo certain things. And you've also found out that it's very important to come to lecture prepared. Otherwise, if you don't prepare, it will be very hard to follow along. So I trust that this week, you will have done the in-chapter exercises for Module 2 and Module 3. Please be sure that you have completed Module 1 before trying your hand at Module 2 and 3. They all work off the same database and to continue in Module 2, you will have needed to have finished Module 1. So make sure that you follow along step by step. For the projects, again, as before, we will work on them together in class. We will pick up on step nine where we were looking at the expression builder. So please come on time, ready to begin. There is a scheduling change. We will not be looking at G-Metrics. Last week, I introduced you to G-Metrics, and as you have found, we ended up skipping about half of the questions in there because either they were covered in module three or they were way beyond the scope of COSA 50. So we will revisit G metrics when we get to Excel. So maybe around module three or so, we will reintroduce G metrics and we will start practicing for the Moss and Excel. Now, my offer is still on the table. If you are a seasoned access user, you can still try your hand at the MOS. If you successfully pass the MOS, I will replace your capstone grade. Speaking of capstone, you do have a capstone project in addition to the module two and module three projects. So do be aware of that. They are all due this coming Saturday night. So make sure that you are well aware of it that you try to knock out the work as soon as you can. Don't leave everything for Saturday night. It's just going to be too much. So Wednesday night, when you come in, we were going to finish up on module two. We'll look at module three. Hopefully there'll be some time left over to, uh, to complete those two projects. And then if time permits, I can tell you what you need to be aware of for the capstone project. Now, with module two, if you are following along in the book, it's very important that you are aware of when to save an existing query and when to take a query that is open and save it as another query. Okay, so this is where some students get into a lot of trouble. Now, if you have an existing query like this and you're asked to make a basic change to it, and then save it, you can safely use the save command right up here in the quick access toolbar. Now, in the event that you are asked to change something in design view and then save it as another query, you will actually need to go the long way. And to do that, it's in the file tab. You would need to go to save as, save object as, and then click the save as button and then rename the query. So you do need to be careful with this that you don't accidentally overwrite an existing query that you have. Remember, access is pretty unforgiving. As some of you have found out the hard way, you need to be very precise, methodical, take each step carefully, break it into pieces if you have to, and you will do fine. So this week we will wrap up access. Once we are done with these three chapters of access, that is it. We're not going to return back to access again. And looking ahead, let me switch back to Chrome really quick here. Looking ahead, we will return back to discovering computers chapters four and five. So 
Remember, you will not be tested on access after this week. Anyway, that's all I have. Remember, if you do have questions, ask them on Wednesday night or use the discussion forums in Canvas. 